to a special direct edition music extra where we're joined by a legend of music, one of my favorite artists on the planet. Ty is with us today. Thanks so much. Thank you very much for having me here. Listen, it's real good to kind of see. I know that basically you've got a, a new album coming up. Mm -hmm. So when can we see the new album and what's it called? The new album is called A Special Kind of Fool. Yep. And it's on, uh, it's out, it's on BBE and it's out on the 19th of April. Okay, so tell us a little bit about your kind of inspirations and influences for this album. Special Kind of Fool is basically um, like a statement. You know, like there's people that basically have, go through life and people laugh at them or people bully them or certain things, but they kind of, they, 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 they're victors in the end. It's kind of that sort of story. It's for the, the normal average person that has a, a boss that they don't like. It's the, the title special kind of fool is like, okay, yeah, I'm an idiot, but guess what, I'm a special one. I'm, I'm growing up as an adult, so I'm, yeah. it's, it's no longer about me just talking about things from a boyish perspective. I'm talking about people having babies, I'm talking about um, people dying, I'm talking about being depressed, I'm talking about being, you know, hopeful, I'm talking about all of these different aspects. Yeah, sure. You know, it's, it's kind of like a, 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 a short story of a life. Yeah. So with this new album, yeah. which you you know which you're gonna get soon, yeah. I had to put I pulled Carol Thompson yeah, sure. out and put her on the record. The of the, the lovers legend, lovers legend, and um, you know I pulled Sean Scoffrey onto yeah. the project. The, um, you know, it was the massive record that he had, uh, Space Rider. Yeah, Space Rider. Did you? And um, yeah, it, 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 was, it was really about just celebrating and making sure that people kind of came together and and let me do my vision. So I didn't have any divas in the studio. There was, there was no one turning around saying, I don't like this beat, I don't like. Anybody that came on board knew what we was doing and they sure. knew that what I was about to do to the music was gonna be different from what they're hearing now. Sure. So, you know, it, it, it was really a good, it was a labor of love, really. For me, there's a real clear, identifiable Thai sound. Tell me a little bit about, because you make a lot of music. Right? Yeah, and yeah. You're actually responsible for a lot of the beats we hear. Yeah, I'm responsible for, I'm co-responsible with Drew Hawley yeah. for at least, well, at least 80% of yeah. the actual um, creations of a lot of the songs. A lot of people kind of talk about artists like Dizzy, Ch um, Tinchy Strider, Chip Monk, and talk about this being like a real kind of renaissance for um, rap music in the UK. Right. So what's your feeling as a kind of like, you know, uh, a kind of elder statesman now, if you will allow right. me that. Right, right, know, right, 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 right. How do you kind of, how do you kind of view all these new artists and the kind of chart success that they're having? I'm happy, I'm happy for the success that they're having. Sure. I'm, ha I'm happy for, the fact that the situation moves on and develops hip hop has changes hands and you know the new generation move on and i think that it's really important though that a lot of these artists understand where this the success is actually what it's built upon yeah you know and um, it's kind of nice to see dizzy rascal sampling hip hop breaks yeah. all the time but it's really important for us to respect hip hop music and hip hop culture the the, the fascination with making a music the fascination sure. with dancing the fascination with loving a particular culture like you know like we're in we're in a comic shop right now so we could sit down and just start opening comics look at things and remembering things like the adverts at the back yeah that's as important as the actual comic yeah, because sure. it's part of the actual essence oh. of the you know you actually buying them a, a, a comic is, yeah. the essence of it is is everything in it sure and i feel like at the moment we're not appreciating everything in the music yeah so we need to do that we need to get back to that so direct edition is all about comics. I know that you've been a fan in different parts, at different times in your life. So like, what are the books that you were into, the characters that really kind of uh, reached you? I always really liked um, the type of comics that had superheroes. Yeah. So if it was the Avengers, if it was Thor, yeah. Incredible Hulk. My main ones was yeah. Rom, yeah. Um, Silver Surfer, um, Justice, Justice League. Yeah. Stuff like that, like I was yeah. like a Superman, yeah. Batman, like my main, like I used to have a main character that I was really into for a while yeah. and it was Spider-Man. Yeah. And then uh, obviously it started getting different with the black costume and yeah, stuff, yeah, sure. it kind of lost me on that. Yeah. But um, it's Fantastic Four. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm seriously, I used to, I just used to buy everything. Here's an exclusive, yeah. I've never watched Star Wars ever. <laughs> what? I've never watched Star Wars. 
Is that like, and what's that about? Is that just a, just it never came up or you just it like was, deliberately it, avoided it? It was poverty. Yeah. So po Star Wars used to be in the cinema and my okay. parents weren't weren't paying for it, so okay. I couldn't go. And then every all the kids spoke about Star Wars, so you just yeah. you just learn to pick up things like, yeah. oh yeah, CP3, yeah, I like that. I like when he did that thing, yeah. you know? And we just yeah. lied about it. Yeah. And then when I got older, I just, I just felt like I couldn't watch it. So I watched E.T., but yeah. I never watched, um, Star Wars and you know some people want to slap me for that but you know do what you need to do I never watched Star Wars I can put that right you know what I mean what yeah. we do is that next time we see each other right I'm going to bring you the box set right? okay let's do all, it let's do all it. six movies well let's see let's, let's see definitely let's see if that. I get that box set all right well you'll definitely it's a borrow as a borrow it's not it's not okay gonna, cool cool you know, all you right. need to keep but well, right, you can cool. borrow my box set do you know what I mean George Lucas don't sue me I'm just him yeah, he's, he's just hooking me up. It's going to my hard drive, brother. <laughs> Who are the artists that kind of make you the artist you are now? Who are the artists that you would you would send people to go back and listen to? Number one group or um, two individuals that really influenced me is Cookie Crew. Yeah. The group Cookie Crew. Like, yeah. I mean, she's my auntie now, so we yeah. speak. You know, we speak on the phone all the time. What Cookie? Yeah, yeah, Debbie. We speak all the time, and um, it's a trip for me because I remember being yeah. in my uh, kitchen watching my black and white television yeah. when they were on top of the pops dancing, and my mum letting me watch that rather yeah. than my sister tried to turn the channel. She's like, no, let him watch what he likes because he likes his thing, and she yeah. could see that. Yeah. I think seeing them doing their thing on. Yeah. On, on TV was so amazing for me yeah, sure. that it was really captivating. It's one of the things that made me feel like it was possible to do it because I could sure. see from watching on television yeah. that these girls were from the UK. Pick three artists or three tracks that like we should all have listened to. That we should all listen to? Yeah. Um, I want the, the Thai recommendations. I, if there's a group that we should all definitely listen to, there's a group called Yes. Okay. Um, what, like, the Progressive Rockers? Yes. Okay. I, I collect every record they make. James Brown is someone that you have okay. to listen to. Sure. Um, sure, I, I get the, the James Brown. The, the yes is a surprise. I must yeah, admit. No, yes. No, I, no, I, it's, I, it's not that much of a surprise. Yes, because I, I don't I've, know how I've got you more are. yes, Rick Wakeman. Yeah. More records like that yeah. in my collection than anything else. The, the person that I would round off that actually inspires me probably the most that yeah. came from the UK yeah. in music is Kate Bush. Okay. Absolutely, no absolutely, Kate Bush. I think that Sonically. I think Kate Bush set a level for um, avant-garde music that has not been surpassed. Yeah. You know, Erica Badu is kind of doing yeah. what Kate Bush was doing yeah. now, but we still don't even understand. Yeah what Kate Bush, the effect that she had sure. on music. Making this music takes you all over the world, yeah? Mm -hmm. So imagine you get to the place, you turn over that rock where they haven't actually heard of Ty yet. Right. So what's the one single track that you go, right, okay, you don't know about Ty, this will tell you everything that you need to know. The one song that we do in the show, yeah. if we do it even without the band, if we do it with a turntable or DJ, that always gets the place rocking is, wait, is the song, wait a minute. Okay. Wait a minute, it gets people rocking. Yeah. Like just it's a big tune. It's a big tune, but when you make it, yeah, it's just another song. It's just yeah. another like the baby doesn't get any preference to the other babies. Sure. So um, wait a minute is definitely uh, a song that people refuse to let die. Yeah. And I'm not gonna let it die. It's a great record. It's, I haven't made another record like it on yeah. purpose. So listen. It's been awesome to talk to you, bro. Definitely, sir. Thank you so much for coming on the show, Ryan. Pleasure. Now, just to remind everybody, the album is called A Special Kind of Fool. It's special. out. April the 19th. All right, and we can get it on iTunes, all over the world, whichever we version you want. Yeah, and if we want to kind of connect with Ty, we can do that. I know there's a number of ways that Ty is available on the net for people. So break those down for people before right. we let you go. All right, all right. The easiest way to do it at the moment is twitter.com forward slash time music yeah. or come to my website which is timemusic.co.uk yeah. and um, definitely check in, in fact the website has a little treat on there that I won't tell you about you go and check it for yourself you won't see it anywhere else Respect. TY thank you so much guys.